This is me with the thing with the flash on. It's a lot of like, um, not like financial capital, it's almost like a capital that comes through like people. Like we need people, like we need like people right. that are going to be on our staff. This is like giant, these are like actual chicken wings. Yeah, right? I don't want that, I want like... That's a whole ass hoagie, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. For $60. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get a bath, man. My name's Keenan. I go by Keenan from Limbo. There was a time where I feel like Philly was mad clicky. Like my first introduction to Philly, like scene of any music was like through the punk scene. But, like when you go to punk shows, you just see like people that are like punk. You don't see any like quote unquote normies there. I personally have never seen a mix of people at anywhere that, that has looked like uh, any of the shows that we filmed, you know what I mean? We're trying to combine all the crowds together. I don't know. I just want it's, it's, it's working. It's working, and it's like, and, it, and I feel bad because I feel like some people don't agree with it. In my head, I'm like, this is what it's about. This is what Philly is about. This is how Philly's going to be that next city that's going to take off yeah. because we're united. You know what I mean? Yeah. No matter what you believe in, no matter who you are, no matter what you look like, you know, you can come to our raves, be free, and you're free to experiment and free to like. Don't be in a box. Like, you know, yeah. you you might you might come to our rave thinking one way, leave and be like, yo, I think I, I do like you. Yeah, I do like hyper pop. <laughs> I usually just listen to punk music and like stuff like that. But I like I think I do like this because you feel the energy. I'm going. All I'm right. going. <laughs> I'm going. Whatever you say. Don't acknowledge the camera. I acknowledge the camera. I see you as a being. <laughs> We're only going to look at this footage and it's going to be like, oh, this is what I look like when I walk down the street. <laughs> this is what I look like every day walking down the street. Let me fix my posture. The camera wants to get away with anything. <laughs> You'd be weird in public as much as you want. <laughs> That's true. It's justified. You got an excuse. You could get de demolished houses. It's true. Bro, We're documentarians. Bro, we should do that. We should just walk in places with confidence and a camera. It's like, oh, like, we're here to everybody in the And then you just gotta, I just gotta walk up now. and be like, <laughs> yeah, with a bag. <laughs> no, you know what does it? Uh. You might. The boot, the, yeah. No, the boom mic oh, the boom mic, yeah. yeah. Headphones and a boom, boom mic. mic. You <laughs> show up and you flash the done, ID. Bro, like, Don't even say shit. a word. <laughs> You'll start telling them what to do. No, this way is east. This way is east. For real, this time is, 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 is the good one. And then, here, I'm just going to airdrop one to you, just for reference. First Rodeo Master. First Rodeo Master. It does no, 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 hold on.
okay, for so you. That's what I started doing is you, I, with, with you. these masters. Bro, this is my first time. I don't think anybody's gonna keep that bar. That's, that's not my favorite part. Sit I'm down so and the yeah. style of music in general is grimy and it's it. not like it doesn't have a high production value to it. So I'm not gonna have a high production value mindset to the master. You know what I mean? It's, I feel like it's, I, it's supposed to like in my head this shit is supposed to like blend. I was just trying, I was telling him that I like I purposely didn't try too hard for mm -hmm. the master because I feel like that would have taken away like the point of your music at yeah. least for me is that it sounds grimy. If it, yeah, why like that? If anything, if we were to do that, I would, that's why I'm like, should we go back into files and tweaks? No, 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 no. But then I like the way it sounds. No, I've done that. I'll go back into it. I'm like, alright, make it sound like it's supposed to sound. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. kind of takes away from like, it's sounding re like... Re remember when we started recording when Hillary was mine? Exactly. And it sounded... Exactly. Exactly. That's like, funny as shit you said that. And, and, and production value-wise, we used so much better equipment. We used, you know, every, like I mixed it, mastered it, the whole nine yards. Versus his version that was just on a like you know recorded on his shit in Garage Band or whatever, and his sounded better. You know what I mean? And I had the same experience after I started recording indie music. I would try to record an indie track on a condenser microphone like that, and I'm not understanding why I'm not getting the mix right. And then I use a shitty dynamic microphone and recorded with my monitors turned on. You know, with the mic this close to my face and muffled it, and then I got the sound I wanted. So like that's why I didn't. I tried going super hard with the master here, but yeah, no, I, no, I think it's good. Really Maybe it could have a little duck somewhere in the bass frequency too. Yeah, it's it's like it's that's, like that's, in the eighty range. There's a lot of that on all the tracks, but most of those are mix issues that I can't really fix in the master. Thing no, I want to oh, 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 like we've been listening to it for like like for about ten just said we've been listening to it for the past like two three days in the crib nonstop like. Yo, I wanna show you all these beats I got. Yeah, dude. Oh okay, yeah, I'm ready. I bro, I love your beats, bro. Okay, what are you thinking? I got two beats. Are we still trying to go through other tracks? Oh um, yeah, just listen to let's listen to the rest of the masters. Yeah, please. <laughs> other perfectly yeah, that's the thing like, that's the best thing that's the best part good yeah. like, no, you can throw like, it wait, did not, I just opened that shit no, 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 no. Bro, it blew my mind when I peeped cause like I watch like I listen to OG7 Kwani before yeah. I ever been to make shit yeah. and then after I watch his video I'm like oh shit like that's oh, literally that in down. the corner yeah. in that queue like that nigga's right there bro I'm from Philly turn Philly is on some different shit bro like it's the kind of thing where if you record it clean, you would add this, you would add like vinyl crackle and stuff to add textures to it, but there's already texture. It's literally just the perfect like, yeah, yeah, recording. Yeah. Like, listen in the beginning, there's a horn honks and it's I'm not gonna hold you like that nigga jumped me when I was in high school. That's random. That was random. Since like high school, I was listening to like Blade and like Young mm -hmm. Lee and, and like Echo 2K. <laughs> so I feel like they might, they definitely inspire me to make the music I make now. But like the person who like inspired me the most to like, it was like Sophie. Like after. Oh yeah, for sure. After, after she died, I um, like 
I don't know, in my head, I was like, yo, I gotta keep going through the sound. Like, a lot of people didn't even know who she was. You know, I wanna, like, lock in and make hyper pop. I wanna make, like, crazy sounding music, music that's not perfectly, like, engineered. I wanna make, like, music that's, like, out there because she was, she was out there. I've actually, I learned to put her Robinson recently, and, like, I would definitely say since I learned about Putter Robinson, uh, he has had an effect on my music. All the music that I've done at shows was all, like, pretty much different songs that I haven't put out yet. And I just wanted to see how people react. Play this song on this show and see like, what songs make people the hypest? Like what songs mm -hmm. do they like? Pretty much all the songs on a project now are some of the songs I feel like people like receive, perceive the best, you know? Performing is different than like putting out music. But I feel like this time, like I have a show coming up on the 18th. Um, is it the 215 like fashion? Uh, yeah, yeah, fashion yeah, Mac okay. show. Yeah, that's gonna be the show I'm performing on the 18th and like, I'm a little bit more nervous now about performing only because it's like before it was just like I went into it blindly. Now I'm just like, all right, these songs are coming out. I really hope people like these. But this isn't by any means the first uh, music Keenan has dropped mm. to like yeah, yeah, yeah. there's loads of stuff on his SoundCloud. This is just the first project that we are uh, quote unquote actively marketing and actively promoting, which makes it a lot different. Like we're purposely doing this one. Mm -hmm. Like I have a habit of putting music out and just taking it off of SoundCloud. Yeah, and I, t and I yell at him every time yeah, and I text him and I'm like, why can't I hear the song anymore? Why is it on SoundCloud? God damn, oh God. God damn. <laughs> These lips are for the prank. Do you have I don't think like, but in my head I want to do a camping festival. I don't think that's what you guys need right now either. What? Like I don't think what you guys need to focus on right now is being legitimate, you know what I mean? Not legitimate, but I want... I think you guys should focus more on being cohesive. Our next step isn't like just rave, like we want to do like art shows that are interactive, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like that like crazy like set design, building shit, uh -huh. like all type of shit. Yeah. And with that, that's like some something we could do like legal. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We could like actually talk to real designers and like and for that I would want to have like an actual business. Mm -hmm. I'm looking like fucking five events down the line. Bro. How are we gonna how is what we're doing now and gonna make what we're trying to do in the summer happen? And that's what I'm trying to do a festival. I want to do a fucking actual festival. Oh, PBA might get you, bro. Bro, that's what I'm saying. I thought it was like, where are we going? Acme. Where is it? It's right up there. It's there. It's there, bro. You know what I mean? Even the kicks, specifically the kicks, bro, like... It's there. You know, one thing I wish I knew known before I was panning. Panning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's probably why a lot of your shit sounds like that. No, but it's gonna be good because the the next release is when <laughs> Keenan from Limbo <laughs> discovered panning. <laughs> like the 808 in there because that I feel like it adds like another like sub woofer like Is it not in there? It's not in there. It's not? Here yeah, I can't get louder here. here. It's right here. It's right here. 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 These ones. These, these right? Yeah. Yeah, right. I have so just the dry one. Nothing, but the the, the the way that like 808 hits in that drone, it's like it's quiet. Oh, it's, 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 it's like it's like it's like it turns it from light to dark really fast. I hear it in that. I know what he's talking about. It's like not it's like I, may I think you I think you're master. Okay, what mix is that? Is that a new mix or an old mix? That's just the the mix. The or uh, the mix? Mm -hmm. I think it's something with your master then. Bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, bro, I feel like I'm drawing. No, bro, you're but you're it's like, whoa. Yeah. Everything the boys go crazy. When you tell me you love me, baby. Everything the boys go crazy. Oh, yeah. All that matters is it's 
it's it's it's good. It. It's cool now. That's Did you it. just add that? Or was revert, that like revert the master back. No, it, was <laughs> it was muted. No, no, nothing was muted. It was it was something else that was. Stupid. What was it? I you you can tell us. You can tell us. I put a reverb on there. I put a reverb on it, just a little bit. On the kick, like ten percent. No, on the on the on this. On, this thing, on, this thing. on the eight oh eight. But you got the crunch back, so that's what it is. Bro, but you got you got to keep it a beam, bro. My ear is crazy. You do, no, no. <laughs> it's just, I, and I'll give it to you like that specific issue. It's really hard to describe. It's hard. I was just like, bro, what I'm it's just... what you're hearing. You know what I mean? <laughs> You did something different, bro. Before you just did, you close it out and put it back, bro. Oh you, my God. you had it, bro. I swear to God, I wish I would have said don't. I, was, <laughs> bro, I wish I. Part of me, I was like, no, don't do that. Bro, there's literally nothing. No, you different, did something. Bro, there's nothing. You different. did something different. You had, bro. Bro, don't play my ear, bro. Oh man, did that. Everybody, stop looking at me. Everybody, so, look I'm, at I'm something else, bro. I'm not I'm not at you. I'm not at you. I'm not at you. Bro, there's no way it was perfect. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good. All right. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. It better be. It, it really is. <laughs> Tomorrow you're gonna like you're gonna like wake up in the middle of the night like you forgot Your eyes like are the collapse or some shit and you're gonna wake wait. up and be like <gasps> wait. That, that, I got. You're gonna knock on my door in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's not done.
sing in a high pitched voice when you like <laughs> turn the when you pitch it up. And one more! You killed that one! One more! One more! One more! Let's go! Another one! 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 Gosh, well, <laughs> my, my name is Sam. My producer name is Ninetail Shadow Wolf. Mo here is my roommate. So <laughs> I'm very thankful for that because through him I was able to meet Keenan and the other artists, the electronic artists in the scene that like, I didn't really have an in to like the electronic music scene in Philly and I always wanted to and uh, I feel right at home. We already had the track list figured out for the EP and then Keenan was like I feel like we need one more and then Mo of course opened up the treasure chest of the unreleased Keenan from Limbo demos and then we're like what about this one I spent like three straight days in my basement like you know mixing stuff and like throwing all my random samples and everything in there until I thought I'd create some some new Frankenstein beast 
I'm like cheesing right now. <laughs> I'm just like, as you were saying, I'm just like, yeah, that's how it happened. <laughs> He's right. He's right. He's right. Cause shout out Kev. We were at Kev's house. I think that's when it first popped up. Yeah. Sam sent me that like re glitch of it. I was, I was geeking. I was like, oh my god, that was so cool. I <laughs> was beautifully framed. Have you heard of um from the heart? Okay, they they are well they were a super group of like hyper pop producers and EDM producers and stuff. And PC music. Yeah, yeah, but not like a label, like one artist name. And they had like a Discord, and they all collaborated on songs. And Valentine was the main person in charge of all of it. And I actually know some people, like I have some friends at UART too, who were involved in From the Heart. When it came to like actually distributing credit and everything, barely anybody who actually worked on it got credit. And like Valentine took all of like the profits from streaming and shit, and like didn't give like. Like, like my friend who like worked on some of the songs on the first EP was like, I did this on that, and it's like you can't find my name anywhere on it. Yeah, it was, it, I want it so like in the forefront that it's like, it's sort of like no one can even find it. Like, there's no Valentine. There's, yeah, there's, there's, exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think, that's why I think it's good, because it's not meant to be some super group of like multiple identities. It's meant to be one identity, and everybody else has to like cast aside their ego yeah, yeah, to figure to contribute to the one identity. I know Mo wants to ride in the background, and I kind of do too, because I don't want to like, I hate when the rays are like, I don't know, I, that shit makes me uncomfortable when there's like a face and personalities to like this, because it's not really about one person, it's about like, because we can't do this shit if it's not so much of it. I agree. It's selfish writing one person to try to take credit for any one thing. Because so many people are a part of it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. and I, I think that's the whole like, I want to like get away from that shit like now. The, the people who are in my band, it wasn't like a, um, my bands, honestly. We sort of left the Delaware community once we got like bigger, and we sort of joined this grander, generally online, nationwide yeah, like, emo community that like congregates on Twitter, you know. And so it was. I think it was once that happened, like once quarantine started, and like the only way to meet up was on the internet. <laughs> and so you had to get really good at the internet to survive as like a band or an artist or whatever. Basically what came from that was like everybody turned into like a capitalist and it, into like people who are very concerned with like power and ego. And so there was this event, the reason why I brought this up is because there was this event called quote unquote DIY Super Bowl, which was happening in Philly. like sometime last year. I, we were raised on the like DIY philosophy, which is like, do everything yourself. Like, if you don't have anybody who can fund a show, throw it at your house for free. If you don't have equipment, ask around, rent, borrow, raise the money yourself, you know, all that Crowd shit. Fund. Crowdfund. This, this quote unquote DIY Super Bowl was, they rented out like a, a, a major, like actual venue with a stage and like sound system and shit. They charged $25 per ticket. No, they charged twenty dollars per ticket first, I think, and then and this was like a year ago when COVID. Uh, COVID is still like yeah, a yeah, major yeah. thing, but even more so last year. Sure, yeah, yeah. And they sold out instead of just calling it quits and being like, okay, that's probably too many people. They upgraded to a larger venue and increased ticket price. Whoa. So they charged twenty five dollars for like a three hundred capacity venue with like six bands. Nobody was wearing masks. Yeah. And, like. The Nobody was being fair. careful at all, yeah. and people were bringing up like, oh, this seems kind of unfair to raise ticket prices after I already bought tickets, and now I don't know if I want to go because there's going to be more people there and I want to be safe and everything. Their justification was, well, we need to make our money somehow, yeah. and it's like, when did it start being about the money? It's like, don't call it DIY anything if you're doing nothing yourself.
if the original fucking audio cut in somewhere? On you mean bro, that? Yeah, I was I literally was thinking, thinking that, that same thing. thing. I was thinking that. Same I was thing. literally bro, thinking. I, that. No, no, my my original idea was before I heard this intro. I was I thought it was just gonna be this, and I was like, we should fade out yeah. the or yes. original acoustic track the end? as this comes in. As that comes in. I was gonna say as this comes in, but you have this, so we should do it at the back end. Hold yeah. Up. That's a bro, perfect idea. I might be able to like, airdrop it. I might airdrop it. I might it right now. I'm going to turn my Bluetooth on, yeah. Yo, this should be like legit the first big budget video. <laughs> yeah, it should, yeah. Like, well, I don't know. Like, big, big budget. Big budget. Like, well, just talking no. label money? Well, all right. <laughs> all, the, all, the, all the the videos up until this one should just be like running gun. DIY. Like, DIY, running gun, working with Taylor, working with like, you know what I'm saying? DB working with Phil, like, Luke if Luke is down. Definitely working with you. Blue and just on. like and just like, you know what I'm saying? Doing that shit. Uh -huh. But this should be like a fucking we call people in. Yeah. Like get homies, extras, like, get homies. Party, yeah. like a Rent fucking, up space. Like, scene. We can like just do it at like a house, you know. Exactly. If we want that like party idea. Can I text it to you? Um and it'll pop up on here. Like, how do you do that slow motion? How do you do that slow motion like what they do is they, they, moving regular? They make you they make you sing it two they make you sing it two times as fast. So, like, so I'm like, I feel behind her, the she yeah. was a cut. And then they slow it down. So you gotta get the clap, like, 75%. Exactly. Yo, please remember that's, like, the idea. Sure. Alright, word. Except, I know, a drum, a drum with, uh, right. a drum with water on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Let's get this shit. Wait, let me, I'm gonna throw it in there. Fucking mice are mice? They come during the winter. Dude, we, we have, have mice. mice. Yeah. We have mice we're back. We're like waging a war on these bro. Bro, do you need to get a cat Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Okay. I'll, I'll add like a reverb tail. Tail, have it fade out. Yes. Wait here, let me. This should okay. Yeah. After okay, so we already have a single for. After. I'm gonna get this. Throw that there at the end. What's it called? Whoa. This album. Dude, Guitar Hero is my favorite game. I'm a fucking beast at Guitar Hero. Uh, you wanna press the button? <laughs> Where? Mm -hmm. There it goes. <laughs> I just <signed> my <laughs> Come on now. You got it jammed up. It's too hot. It's too hot. I gotta take some time and process it. Come on. Come on, old Betsy. Let's, Let's go. go. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Get it. So my <laughs> Your release date is cutting it close. We're sending the single to stores and telling them to make it live on February 1st, 2022. Because the, the release date you specified is less than four weeks in the future, it's possible the single won't be live everywhere before your, by your release date. This is due to stores' internal review processes and other possible delays on the store's head. Nothing we can do about it. As long as it gets on Spotify and iTunes, they're That's talking about like Tidal and, and like Deezer. And like yeah. Napster and That'd shit. As long as it, like Spotify, they have to have like the fastest yeah. distribution process. You know, at least you would think so. Right there. One more time. I this would be a good part too. Yeah, but I'm just on the TikTok. You can put the whole song, right? Yeah. So if you can pick the part of the song. Oh, only, you have to put the sound. It's only, yeah, it's only a 30 second or a minute long section. I don't know what determines if it's 30 seconds or a minute long, but... I like this part, too. It starts skimming? No, I think it starts part. skimming. No, I think the first one's fine. I think the first one's fine. Alright, uh... This song is an autism test. Yeah. If you have autism, <laughs> play this section, and you'll stand. <laughs> Yo, I'm not going frog, bro. I literally <laughs> You been stimming, bro? I think I might. Like, I'm definitely. We all stim a little bit. We all stim a little. It's, it's, that's why it's a spectrum. Stimmy. 
Yeah. Ready to stim me. It feels good to stim me. Right? Right. Right. This? What are you stressed out? Yeah, I just need a cigarette. Sure, I, keep, bro. I keep thinking like, should I get gas or a cigarette? Bro, you want to smoke some weed, bro? Yeah, I do. For real? But not like that. I mean, like gas from my car. Cause tomorrow I got. I don't know where we're going tomorrow. I don't know if we're driving to Philly or we're driving somewhere. Different. So you pick up between getting cigarettes or gas for your car? Bro, <laughs> 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 oh, get gas yeah. for your <laughs> car, bro. <laughs> <laughs> If I get cigarettes, I'm staying in that crib. I tell him, like, he's coming back. Bro, you know how crazy I went with this shit, bro? I went, bro. It used to be this. And I looked up the actual song, and it's hundreds with a beat. Just to make sure. We almost fucked it all to hell, bro. But, but is doing drugs in the bathroom, does that count as explicit? I would say I was doing ketamine lines in the green room is quite explicit. But no, 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 no. Doing drugs in the bathroom. Oh. Da, 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 but ketamine da, lines in the green room. Is that one's no, that one's no, an that's not explicit. That's okay. Because like no, you, you can't really understand. People take their prescription medicine. Yeah, you could be talking about the better drill. It's not inherently explicit. Yeah, right. You could talk about an aspirin. Yeah, it's know? not my fault if the people ketamine, project. The ketamine yeah. lines in the green room, bro. I'm a fucking. You interpret, you interpret. You're a vet tech. You're a vet tech for a prize work. And you were doing in, in the green room. And you were in the green room. <laughs> Why were you doing the ketamine though? No, the, the no, I was doing the Ken lines. That's what you do. Like, you line it up for the horse. <laughs> and the horse snorts <laughs> it. It goes in a cable. Yeah. It's a tie in the first rodeo. <laughs> Okay, Noel. Smile, smile is just the story of a of a young horse veterinarian. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay. I started. I just started fucking with eggs that look like that. Like the sunny side up eggs. Bro, same, bro. <laughs> I never <laughs> fuck with fried eggs. Bro, I'm I being dead ass. I used to think it was disgusting, bro. Because when you're black, there's always shit that people tell you. Or like you're not supposed to eat an egg, bro. You're not supposed to eat the yolk, yeah, bro, bro. bro. Like, bro I Runny eat, yolks is the shit. Bro, I, I ate my it. first meat. I ate my first burger that wasn't well done when I was 21 years old. Damn, bro. bro dead ass, bro. No I don't know why I changed my life, bro. I never really it's had. I never really had. Oh, every time my mom would make any kind of meat, steak, bro. anything, well no. done. Every any pick in it, like, bro, that shit's undercooked. You're gonna die. Exactly. Like you're gonna get salmonella you're and die. Sick and lousy, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, same I'm with the Cordell one. With that. Yeah, I feel good. The Cordell one. I'm just gonna put additional primary artists for the Cordell one. Yeah. I think that looks. I great. think that looks tough. Cause you get all three at the end, and they're all features, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you go with it. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. That's hard. I need you to do. I need you to do one thing for me though. What? I just need you to hit up Cordell and make sure he's cool his government out like that. Yeah. Right. So it's That's recording hard. now. And then, like, I can just do whatever. And then. How much was it?
Oh, go on, chop it up. Okay, this is Jason Navarro. We're about to play a mashup of a very special song by none other than yeah. Keenan from Limbo. We got Keenan over here in the building. Let's go give a shout out to Keenan. Everyone loves Keenan. All right, let's drop that show. First, I was like uncomfortable about the idea of putting music out because I'm really, I'm really like kind of shy and stuff when it comes to like my art. The weird thing about putting out music is like you never know how people are gonna like perceive it, and but when you get to perform live, you get to like just, like look at people in the face and mm -hmm. be like, all right, you like get what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. Like I didn't think about putting this together at all. Pretty much, Mo randomly was like, yo, you gotta put something out. To have someone like Mo be like super excited about my music, it like made me like feel like yo, I need to like do this for like my friends that believe in me, you know. I'm always trying to find like new people in Philly to spend mm -hmm. just to give them like a shot, you know. Shout out Carla, shout out Rachel, shout out DV, Mars, uh, Bruno, shout out, shout out everyone, shout out Aaron, shout out Jared, shout out Claire, shout out, shout out Mo, shout out Taylor for sure, shout out Taylor. Like shout out, I'm not, I'm, I'm not missing. There's too many people today. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Shout out Patty, you know. Shout out a lot of people. It, that have it been, takes it takes a lot of people to get mm -hmm. like any of this done, you know. Yeah, for sure. Too and many people to name. We're trying to do it from the muscle. You don't need. Yeah. We don't need any sponsorships. We don't need any like OGs in mm -hmm. the game. We just need us to like do it DIY. Yeah. It's hard to like. It's hard to to put it into a genre, or yeah, like I that. feel like the music speaks for itself more than anything else. I feel like um, it's 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 a feeling more than anything you can describe, and you just need to listen to it to understand. At the end of the day, it kind of grew into something that was bigger than any one of us individually, and I'm just excited to see where it goes from there. We got big things on the way. <laughs> It's a video. We got the close-ups. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Thank you, kindly. Oh, wait. I think it was recording. Oh, sorry, it was. oh no, it was. Oh, you recorded? <laughs> no, it, I'm, I'm recording on here. Yo, damn, blood or money? The heart. Oh, shit. It's in the other room. Is this the same camera? No, that's Moe's extra camera. That's good, that's perfect. Oh! I'm glad I got that on film. Is it a little gun? It's natural. Better out than in, you know. 
What is she doing? <laughs> I'll do this with Susie where I put her in front of the mirror. And the cat. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> 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 you.